Blog Talk Radio. Blog Talk Radio. Do you know when you donate a kidney, you give the gift of life? I had no idea you could donate an organ while you were still alive. If I'm born with two healthy kidneys but only need one, and I could really improve somebody else's life, why not? When I think of giving up something I don't need in exchange for a life, it's no contest. If I had another one, I'd do it again. Visit the National Kidney Foundation at kidney.org. Now you know. Love Talk Radio. Good evening. And welcome to Story Tales. This is Lady Sailor Sue Juris co-hosting for our feature presentation, Grandmother's Very Cold Basket. But just a few reminders before Grandmother Mazina comes to the campfire and tells her story. I want to direct everyone to Story Tales and their new website. And you can access that by going to Story Tales Radio. Dot webs dot com. And to email either Grandmother Mazina or the host Rich Gelhausen, you can go to Storytales Radio Show at gmail dot com. The website is very nice. It now has a calendar up there so you can see the shows that will be coming up. It's kind of a new feature, so um, they're not quite into the to the um, uh, systematic system yet. However, they are going in putting shows up uh, each month. We also have some program features on there. We have a photo gallery on there. So I want to encourage everyone to take a look at Storytel's new website and feel free to send an email to the host. We will take a commercial break, and then we'll be right back with Grandmother Mazina and her very cold basket. Blog Talk Radio. At the time of Lewis and Clark's historic journey, North America's grizzly bear population may have numbered a hundred thousand. But as the West was tamed, grizzlies were killed relentlessly, and much of their habitat was lost to development. Today, only about 1,600 grizzlies remain in the lower 48 states, and they are fighting for survival. The Vital Ground Foundation is a non-profit organization working to ensure the future of grizzly bears through the protection and restoration of crucial wildlife habitat. Vital Ground's dedication to conserving grizzly habitat goes well beyond saving a single species. When the land is wild enough for the grizzly, all other animals and plants in the ecosystem, including ourselves, benefit as well. It is said, where the grizzly can walk, the earth is healthy and whole. I'm Chris Morgan, bear ecologist and host of the PBS Nature series, Bears of the Last Frontier. To learn how you Good evening. This is Grandmother Mazina coming to you at the campfire tonight. I have to hold the basket I have very close to me because it is cold, very frozen. 
and there is a reason for it. I'll enjoy telling you big ones and them little ones too about the wonderful story of an Arctic brown squirrel that you didn't know that the Arctic had squirrels and other land animals that we have down here that they might freeze up there. No, this one would not freeze. This is a very particular animal, and I'm sure the little ones are going to enjoy it, as well as the big ones. It's a hibernating animal. As its body temperature cools, how low can that get? A dozen Arctic ground squirrels appear to have set a record. When their body temperatures drop to 26.8 degrees, at that temperature, we would expect their brains to keep freeze. How does the Arctic ground squirrel survive? Every two or three weeks during their hibernation, the Arctic ground squirrel shivers to its normal body temperature. Can you imagine when we stand in the cold, we shiver, but we want to get out of it and get warm. We're there, they're already warm, and they've got to shiver to normal temperature. And that's of a 97.5 degree. And does not get cold again for some 12 to 15 hours. Researchers say that this warning, warming period, although brief, plays a role in the brain's survival. Moreover, during hibernation, The Arctic ground squirrel's head seems to remain slightly warmer than the rest of its body. During lab experiments, the neck temperature of the squirrel mentioned above never drops below 33.3 degrees. When the squirrel emerges from hibernation, its brain returns to normal activity within about two hours. In fact, one study suggests that the squirrel's brain works even better after hibernation. Experts are baffled by this astonishing recovery. They compare it to new growth emerging from scorched earth within days of a forest fire. Researchers hope that their study of the Arctic ground squirrel will help them understand the human brain's potential more fully. Their goal is to learn more about how to prevent or even reverse the cellular damage that occurs in brain diseases, including Alzheimer's. Ourselves a question. Did the Arctic ground squirrel resilient brain come about by evolution? Or was it designed? Which do you think? And this story, it comes from the Awake, which is a very informative magazine. It tells you about many things, including our grand creator. This is Grandma Mazina Cuddy, sending off at this time. And I'll be back again. And thanks for listening. To the big ones and the small ones, I send my love. Good night.
Blog Talk Radio. More than 100 million wild animals are killed each year illegally. Poaching is a major threat to our country's wildlife. I'm Tom Barry. I'm an actor with a desire to preserve living space for wildlife. The Humane Society Wildlife Land Trust does just that. Works with private landowners to protect wildlife to preserve natural habitats. To learn more or to work with the Humane Society Wildlife Land Trust, call 800-729-SAVE. That's 800-729-SAVE or visit wildlifelandtrust.org. Thank you. <laughs> 